Welcome back. Now that you've placed all the components in your schematic from the reference design, it's time to wire them up. Okay, so if your components are placed nicely, you can just go ahead and hit W on your keyboard. Now W is a shortcut for place wire. And you see the shortcut here. So you can choose place wire. And let's start with the compensation pin. Click and place our wire here. Let's see. Oh, actually I forgot something very important. That's the ground symbol. So go to ground, place ground, and then choose zero from Capsin. Click OK. And place your ground here. We got a couple more grounds, so place one here as well, according to the reference schematic. There's one for the A ground pin. Let's see where our other grounds are. One under power ground, then another under CSN. Another ground for RSN, RFA has a ground as well. Then, let's see. Oh, and actually I forgot a feedback resistor. So, I will get to that as I am making the circuit. I forgot both feedback resistors, did I? Ah, no, just feedback resistor one. Okay. That's this resistor I'm missing. Okay. The ground here would be under C out. I'm going to put one ground for both of these. And then another ground for C in. C in should be rotated, but that's fine. And a couple of things here. The C in should be 100 microfarads, not 200. Huh. Yeah. I guess being in a rush kind of makes you make mistakes here. So, yeah, just double check your values in your circuit. Okay, now to continue the wiring. And as I continue the wiring of the circuit, I'm going to move some of these reference texts. You can move this text around, actually. Text is just all over the place. Just, right, this is a bit neater here. I'm going to put my 20k right there, RF2 under my CC, good. And an RC for our compensator or compensation right there, good. Now W on the keyboard for the wire and let's wire this up. Feedback, analog ground goes to ground. All right, that's the left side so far. RFA goes from FA, pin, and RFA to ground. I don't like this text being here, so I'm going to drag this under the chip. And I'll move this over here. Good. Now notice the pins are swapped. Power ground is pin number five, and DR is pin number what is that? Six? See, look at that. The order is swept. Six, five, seven, eight instead of five, six, seven, eight, like on the reference design. So pay attention to these things, right? You'll notice them as you place pin by pin, part by part. It's very tricky sometimes. Hmm. I'm trying to mess up my design here. Okay, so RFA 40K. It's a 40k ohm resistor. The in comes from the top. So C in gets the. Oh, oh, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Hold on. Let's rotate this with R. Then place what we want here. This a V in is going to come from the top. Just to make sure, let's double check. V in is coming from the top, right? The 3.3 volts, which is going to go to V out 5 volts. 5 volts is higher than 3 volts because this is the boost converter. We're boosting the voltage. So, coming from the top here. All right. Okay, that connected. Then, make this connect. C in capacitor goes to ground. Now this inductor, my memory is so 
or let's see, this inductor connects to the diode, the anode of the diode, and then to the drain of this MOSFET here. Now, this is a bit of a squeeze, but let's go and highlight these two components, drag them down a bit. Now I can place my MOSFET right here. Now I'm going to put this MOSFET right in alignment, uh, the gate right in alignment with this DR. And then a wire will go straight into there. I don't like this wire going through my ground, so I'm going to bring this ground up just a little bit. It's not the best, but it, it will work for now. W again for wire. And then this inductor goes straight into the MOSFET. Connect the tops of this resistor, the sensing resistor and sensing capacitor right there. See what else we have. Connect them to ground. Okay. In case anyone's wondering, um, it doesn't matter that these grounds are separated. They could just be one ground if you wanted to have less grounds in the schematic. <laughs> All right. Let's see what else we have here. Uh, this induct, this diode, the Schottky diode, goes from the center of the the node connecting the inductor and the training of the MOSFET goes to the output, okay, because we want to keep the current to the output side. So move these output capacitors a little to the right here. That's good. Okay, W on your keyboard again to start placing that wire on that. Okay. Double click to terminate that wire in the air. Oh, okay. Okay. We'll drag this ground down a little bit. Very good. Looks like we're on our way. Okay, C out one. We have two C out ones here. So I'm going to change this C out one, the second C out one to C out two. Okay, that looks good so far. Let's see what else is missing. Oh, yes, this is the 60 A, the 60 kilo ohm feedback resistor. So let's add this resistor. And then right click on the schematic. Edit properties. And this is 60 kilo ohms. This is RF1. And enter on your keyboard and let's place this where it needs to be. That is in between RSN and C out. Okay. Rotate it with R. Place that right there. Okay. Now, normally, um, I would I would not place diagonal wires in here, but what the heck? Why not? Double click to terminate this wire. Hold down the shift key. Place your wire right there and connect it right there. There you go. Connect a wire from the bottom of RF one and take it to RF two, which is on the bottom here. Well, Okay, we have two RF2s, so I'm going to delete that second one. Place that right there. Right click and wire and then delete this second one. I'm going to delete that. Okay. This looks good so far. We have our feed put, feedback circuit, our network. Hit O on your keyboard to zoom out. All right, that is looking pretty good. Oh, I sent is missing, so we need to connect that back to the top of C sense. Hit W on your keyboard, connect I sense, 
and there we go. 